Welcome to the Pencil Bob channel. I hope you enjoy my stories. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification icon so you never miss out. Now on with the stories. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the financial reports we just received. It's like a never-ending nightmare. Our president, who's supposed to be leading our HOA with integrity, has been using our money like it's his personal piggy bank. I'm talking thousands of dollars wasted on frivolous expenses, and it's not just a one-time mistake. This is a pattern of reckless behavior that's been going on for who knows how long. Let me break it down for you. We're talking about $8,000 spent at the casino. I mean, what's the business purpose of that? Is that supposed to be some kind of team-building exercise? Give me a break. And then there's the $6,000 spent on Amazon. I'm sure it's not for office supplies or anything remotely related to our work. More like personal shopping sprees, if you ask me. But wait, it gets even better. Our president had the audacity to use $10,000 of our money to pay for a lawyer to handle his personal issues. I'm not even sure what kind of personal issues would require that kind of legal firepower, but I'm pretty sure it's not related to our HOA's mission. And don't even get me started on the office lady, who makes a whopping $95,000 a year. I mean I'm happy for her, but what exactly does she do to justify that kind of salary? especially considering she's only been with us for a year, and it's all new staff. It's like they're just handing out fat checks to their friends and family. But here's the kicker. Her father, who's somehow involved with our HOA, claimed to be buying dirt from a local rock place, and charged us over $150,000 in fees. But it turns out he's been taking the dirt from his own property. I mean, what kind of scam is that? The DA is currently investigating that little scheme, and I hope they throw the book at him. And now our president has the nerve to claim that he's never been paid for his services, despite the financial reports clearly showing otherwise. It's like they think we're all idiots who can't read or do basic math. Wouldn't some of this be considered embezzlement? I'm no lawyer but it sure looks like it to me. I'm so frustrated and angry about this whole situation. It's like they're running our HOA like a personal fiefdom, with no regard for accountability or transparency. I mean who's supposed to be watching the store here? Where's the oversight? I've been working with this HOA for a while now, and I've seen some shady stuff before, but this takes the cake. It's like they're trying to see how much they can get away with before someone finally blows the whistle. I'm not sure what the solution is, but something needs to be done. We need to get rid of these crooks and get some honest, competent people in charge. It's not like we're asking for much. Just basic integrity and a sense of responsibility would be a good start. I'm not even sure how they're getting away with this. Is it because they're friends with the right people? Do they have some kind of dirt on someone higher up? I don't know, but it needs to stop. I'm just so tired of seeing our hard-earned money being wasted on frivolous expenses and personal schemes. It's like they're stealing from us, and it's not even subtle. They're just brazenly taking our money and using it for their own gain. I hope someone is listening because I'm not going to let this slide. I'll keep shouting from the rooftops until something is done. We deserve better than to be led by a bunch of crooks and thieves. The moment I started going through those financial reports it was clear that things were worse than I had imagined. For starters, the $8,000 splurged at the casino just baffles me. When I first saw that number I wondered if it was some sort of typo. But no, there it was in black and white. $8,000 gone in what I can only assume was a night of gambling. Was this supposed to foster team spirit or create some sort of morale boost? because to me, it looks like a blatant misuse of funds, a gross example of recklessness, and the Amazon expenses, those are just the tip of the iceberg, we're looking at $6,000 spent on what, some might think, maybe it's for essential supplies or perhaps new equipment for the office, but no, it's nothing of that sort, there's no sign of new computers, no advanced software for our projects, not even new desks or chairs, it's more likely personal items, which makes me furious. It's like someone took the HOA's credit card on a personal shopping spree, disregarding any professional ethics or accountability. Now let's talk about the $10,000 spent on legal fees. When I saw this, I thought it might be some necessary legal consultation for the HOA, maybe to deal with some compliance issue or a contract negotiation. But no, it was to cover the president's personal legal battles, what kind of personal issues could possibly justify such an expenditure? I can't wrap my head around it. It's like they're siphoning off our funds to solve their personal problems, leaving us to deal with the fallout. And then there's the office lady. She's making $95,000 a year. That's a significant salary. 
especially considering she's only been with us for a year. What exactly are her qualifications? What kind of work does she do that justifies this salary? As far as I can tell, she handles routine administrative tasks. It feels like they're just handing out generous paychecks to their inner circle, without any merit-based consideration. It's frustrating to think of the disparity between what she makes and what others, who have been here longer, and do more critical work are earning. Her father's scam is another mind-blower. He's been charging us over $150,000 for dirt. Yes, dirt. Apparently he claimed to be purchasing it from a local supplier. But in reality he was just taking it from his own property. It's a blatant act of fraud. And yet it went on unnoticed for so long. Thankfully, the DA is investigating but it's outrageous that it got to this point. It's such a clear abuse of trust and resources. And the president's claims about not being paid don't even get me started. How can he stand there and say with a straight face that he hasn't been compensated when the financial reports tell a different story? The evidence is right there. It's like they think we're blind or too incompetent to understand basic accounting. It's insulting, really. I'm beyond frustrated. This whole situation is maddening. We're supposed to be an HOA that values integrity and transparency. Instead, it feels like we're being run by a bunch of con artists. Who's supposed to be keeping an eye on things? Where is the oversight? It's like there's no one minding the store, and they're taking full advantage of it. I've been here long enough to see my share of questionable decisions, but this is on another level. It's as if they're daring someone to call them out, seeing how much they can get away with and it's not like we're asking for anything unreasonable. We just want a leadership that's honest and responsible. That's not too much to ask, is it? How are they getting away with this? Are they protected by their connections? Do they have some sort of leverage over people in higher positions? It's hard to say, but whatever it is, it needs to be exposed. This can't continue. I'm tired of seeing our hard-earned money being thrown away on personal luxuries and dubious schemes. It's disheartening to say the least, we work hard to contribute to this HOA, only to see our efforts undermined by greed and corruption. I hope someone is paying attention because I'm not going to let this go unnoticed. I'll keep raising my voice until something changes. We deserve better than this. We deserve leaders who are accountable and transparent, who respect the trust we've placed in them. Reflecting on all this, it's clear that we're at a crossroads. This HOA has so much potential but it's being stifled by those who put their interests above everyone else's. We need a change, a thorough cleansing of the rot that's set in. We need to bring in people who care about the mission, who are committed to the values we stand for. So what's next? How do we move forward? First, we need a thorough audit. We need to uncover every instance of misuse and hold those responsible accountable. Then, we need to establish stronger oversight mechanisms to ensure this never happens again. We need to be vigilant and proactive to protect the integrity of our HOA. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to see justice served, whether it's cooperating with the DA's investigation, rallying support from other concerned members, or simply making a lot of noise until the right people take notice. This is a fight worth fighting. In conclusion, this is a call to action. We can't afford to sit back and let this happen. We need to stand up and demand better. It's time to take a stand to push for the change we desperately need. We owe it to ourselves, to the HOA, and to everyone who believes in what we're supposed to stand for. Together, we can turn this around and build a brighter future. If these allegations are indeed true, it sounds like a clear-cut case of embezzlement. The fact that the district attorney's office is investigating the matter is a reassuring sign that the authorities are taking these claims seriously. Embezzlement, is a serious crime that can have devastating consequences for individuals, businesses, and communities. It involves the theft or misappropriation of funds by someone who has been entrusted with managing or overseeing them, often in a position of trust or authority. In this case, if the allegations are proven, it would be a blatant breach of that trust and a violation of the law. The DA's investigation will likely involve a thorough examination of financial records, interviews with witnesses, and potentially even forensic accounting to uncover the truth. It's crucial that those responsible are held accountable for their actions, and that justice is served. The public has a right to know what happened, and to have confidence that their institutions are free from corruption. It's fraud. OP said he spent HOA money going to a casino. President just goes to a casino, then submits receipts to TBE HOA for reimbursement claiming it was for HOA business. 
buys stuff on Amazon and asks for reimbursement claiming it is HOA related, of the treasurer is complicit or even the same person it gets approved and a check is cut. An annual independent audit would help catch this stuff before it takes the whole association down. It would not be the first time that a board officer has taken money because they felt they deserved pay for an unpaid position. Absolutely, if true, embezzlement. That is why you have to, based on their experience, have a forensic accountant do the audit. The auditor has to test a larger number of transactions than they would normally do. If what OP has said is even remotely true, A forensic auditor would easily be able to ferret out questionable disbursements. I truly hope the DA is on the case and wraps this up for them. Florida has seen a spate of these crooked boards and controls need to be tightened up, real tight. I would like to thank you for watching the video to the end. To encourage us to make more videos. Please. Like. Subscribe, comment, as well as share. Check out this other video if you haven't already.